I'm Michelle, and you're watching Network Kyogre News. Today is a sad day that we have to announce our Hurricane Milton closes airports in Florida. As Category 4 Hurricane Milton barrels toward Florida with an expected landfall occurring Wednesday morning, many of the state's most heavily trafficked airports are shutting down operations. Among them are Orlando International Airport and Tampa International Airport. Orlando S. Airport, the state's busiest, announced that it will cease commercial service at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, October 9. Although the city is in the eastern part of the state, the National Weather Service still expects it will get hit with hurricane force winds blowing at more than 74 miles per hour. MCO will remain open only to accommodate emergency, aid, and relief flights as necessary, it said in a service alert. Tampa S. Airport, the state's fourth busiest, has already closed to commercial traffic. It lies directly in the path of the storm. Both airports said that they will resume service as soon as possible. Of the 11 Florida airports that the Federal Aviation Administration says in plane the most passengers in 2023, six of them have said that they will be cancelling service, besides Orlando and Tamp. Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers' fifth busiest will shut down commercial service on Wednesday, October 9, and Thursday, October 10. Sarasota Bradenton International Airport eighth busiest will shut down on Tuesday, October 8 at 4 p.m. Orlando Sanford Airport International Airport ninth busiest is primarily used by Allegiant Air, which has been cancelling or delaying many incoming and outgoing flights. St. Pete Clearwater International Airport 11th busiest will close after its last flight departs on Tuesday, October 8, and remain closed through Thursday, October 10. The New York Post reports that some airline customers looking to fly their way out of harm's way were met with exorbitant fares of more than 1,000 per seat, though airlines have said that they're adding flights to try to keep up with demand. Still, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said on the X social media platform on Monday evening that he is monitoring price levels for Florida air fares. The Department of Transportation takes all allegations of airline price gouging seriously, he wrote. We are keeping a close eye on flights in and out of areas affected by Hurricane Milton to make sure airlines are not charging excessively increasing fares. Other major airports in the state including Miami International Airport the state's second busiest and Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport the state's third busiest, have said that they will remain open but are continuing to monitor the storm's path. Thank you for tuning in to Network Kyover News, we will see you next time.